Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from My Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today we're back in Medieval Engineers to have a look at the latest update. Now it's quite a small update, but it's bringing quite a useful thing to the table. Now this is a character's inventory, and you can access it by pressing I. So as you can see, we brought this up, we've got a menu on the left showing the character's inventory, and on the right we have the surrounding. So you can see we can see a number of wooden barrels in the surrounding area. We also have an item where we can drag and eat food as well as drag and drop it onto the floor around us. So say for instance we want to drop something onto the floor, we can drop that there and you can see the torch has dropped onto the floor. But I can also pick that up by checking the surroundings around me. So you can see it's not actually updated yet. But we'll try transferring some items between barrels. So let's select barrel one on this side. And let's select barrel two on this side. So we're going to transfer some mushrooms to this one. Now notice that I can transfer them across. But if I try to transfer larger stones, I can't. And that's because the barrel's volume is full. So I'll try to transfer some items back. So we'll bring the mushrooms back. And we'll bring some of these wooden beams trying to fit them in there. But we can't fit them in because it'd reach max capacity. Let's try bringing a boulder over and we can fit that in there. So that's really cool as well. You can also drag this and eat the selected item. So num 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 num. Oh, maybe I'm not hungry or something. It won't let me eat it at the moment. Click to eat the selected item. There you go. There we go. It's decided to work. And now we can also drop the stones on the floor using this menu and completely empty out the crates. So if I drag to here, you'll see these drop onto the floor like so now all these items in these crates have been cleared really simple not too complicated at all but it's another little sort of level added to the game that we definitely need now something else that's been updated that i'm not too sure that i've seen before is the transparency on the hood so if we go back into the hood itself we go into the options just like space engineers and game and we can see that we've got the screen sort of transparency like we had before and you can experiment around with this so you can change the actual fadedness of the text and the transparency of the sort of scripture in the background so you can see through it perfect if i'm messing with some sort of barrels in the background i need to see what i'm working on and the final thing they've added is a few more blocks let's have a quick look at them so as you can see here we've got two pre-constructed sort of roof segments now these are some of the new blocks that they've actually added in to be built and as we go onto the actual character tools and select the hammer tool, we can right click and we can construct these up and you can see the various construction stages as they complete themselves to a nice standard of roof. And we've also got a corner piece here. So it's a rather sort of quick update this, nothing too exciting and it's not too long and there's nothing that's going to absolutely blow you away, but it's still good to see progress in each 